But when I publicly came out for Trump in 2016, since then, a lot of evangelicals went south on me. And they just said, how could you possibly blah, blah, blah. And I thought, how could I possibly what? He's not my pastor. He's ardently pro-life. And most people say, oh, he's just saying that to get elected. No, he was the most pro-life president. So it's been a wild ride. But you know and I know, we're here to follow Jesus, to glorify Jesus. There are going to be ups and downs. I praise him in all circumstances. And I feel tremendous gratitude to the Lord that I get to walk with him in my life at all. So uh, that's my long answer to your question. The short answer, I can give that too. Yeah, I mean, that, and now, you know, I'm glad that you brought up the 2016 Trump thing because, you know, when I came out uh, very publicly uh, for Trump, uh, I got the same sort of thing. Like, Abby, how, how could you support President Trump? How I'll tell you, you how. I care about the poor. Do you care about the poor? If you care about the poor, you're going to elect somebody who has policies that are going to bless the poor, give them opportunities. If you don't care about the poor, but you just want a virtue signal, well then, you know, you vote for somebody that promises everything and delivers suffering and endless misery, but they prom they sound, they, they you know, I, I, I got to say, it's such a shameful thing, particularly for Christians, to be fooled by politicians who talk a good game and they don't do anything. Trump, I know, loves the country, cares about people. So anybody who wants to caricaturize him, that's all you're doing. The fact of the matter is that compared to what we had to choose from, right. he was the clear choice. But there were people who were so emotionally bound up that they just, they, they didn't even care. And, and if you're so, if you hate somebody so much that you literally don't care about the poor, don't care about the future of the country, don't care about, I don't know what to say because you've got to put your country ahead of yourself. You've got to put God's purposes ahead of yourself. And I know these people think they did that, but I was convinced they didn't. And I did my best to communicate it, but some people are so emotional and, and just viciously hateful with, with regard to him and anybody that would support him. I mean, look, I've lost many friends and I've never lost friends in my life. 